What is going on guys? It is your boy Bus Players coming back at you with another video. Now today is all about ranking up your weapons a lot quicker. Now you've clicked on this video because you want to see how you can rank up your weapons a lot faster and a lot quicker on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. It's been a week since it's released. Now we're going to get straight into it by saying the first thing that you should really be doing is trying to rank up your assault rifles first. You can get a lot of headshot multiplied by doing this. Yes, you want to unlock your SMGs and you want to try and get camo and gold, but this will make your life a lot more easier by ranking up your assault rifles. Now, the reason why I'm going to say this is because it's going to lead on to my next thing, but we're going to have to hold fire on that for one second. Headshot multiplier is really key. The reason why I'm saying this is because your assault rifles are really OP as soon as you get the right muzzles, attachments, barrels, grips, everything, you name it. This will help you with your ranking up of your other weapons like your SMGs, your battle rifles, your marksmen and your snipers. They're really the hardest ones you can do because you don't as get you don't really get as much headshot multiply in the game with the other weapons as you do with your assault rifles. So headshot multiply is key in ranking up your assault rifles a lot quicker. Now the second thing which is why I said that to unlock your assault rifles first is to get overkill on your perk system. You need overkill on every single custom loadout that you get. You've got 10 custom loadouts on Modern Warfare 2. Now the reason why I say overkill, you might be thinking why is this guy on about overkill? Overkill does not help me with XP, doesn't help me with anything, just allows me to use two primary weapons. The reason why I'm saying this is because you can use an assault rifle which is max ranked. For example, I use my M4 and then I use a non-ranked SMG or battle rifle or marksman or sniper. This allows me to use my assault rifle for long range gunfights and then I only focus close range with using my non-ranked weapon. So for example, I use the Castoff 74U and my M4 and I tend to use the Castoff for long for short range sorry gunfights and medium range gunfights things that I know that I can win and then if I'm in a gunfight where it's long range I'll pull out the M4 which is max ranked which is good decent attachments on and I can win the gunfight with so this is why I say to use the overkill because then this will allow you to rank up your weapons a lot more faster as you have used your assault rifle headshot multiplier and you've got them all max ranked and I'll be honest the assault rifles are really OP on this game use the assault rifles first and yes I do understand you have to unlock SMGs or battle rifles to get all your your assault rifles unlocked but all you need is an m4 i'll be honest with you guys if you max rank your m4 trust me you are sweet with everything in the game you don't really need to worry about your smgs or anything like that and secondly i would say you need to play the objective more i think playing the objective more will allow for more xp yes that is for your level on your actual level not your actual uh, weapon ranking but in a sense, if you are killing with a non-ranked uh, non weapon, it will actually help you just a little bit more to rank up your weapons a lot more faster. And trying to get high kill gameplays, yes, I know, that is really hard to do in this game. SBMM is really high and there is a lot of sweat on this game. But try to get minimum 20 plus, 25 plus kills a game. You can actually rank up your weapon by two levels higher if you get above 25 kills which doesn't seem a lot but in the long run it does help a lot i know there's a lot of information to take on this video there is a lot of information to use but trust me guys this is what i've been doing and it's effectively working i'm ranking up my weapons by two to three levels a game hitting 30 kill games or just using overkill or just playing the objective a little bit more trust me this will help you guys and try not to use the god mode xp glitch because that will probably end up getting your account banned because that's a legit uh, XP glitch that Sledgehammer took away and they've put it back into the game for some reason. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.